Voiceover tips, recording for video games. Hello, fellow voiceovers. It's Peter Baker from Voiceover Masterclass here. And in our courses, one thing we're always going on about is that you should always consider all areas of voiceover work. You never know where you're going to find your real niche. Voice acting is one of those areas you may not have considered. If your main jobs come, say, from voicing radio or TV ads or corporate image films and all that sort of stuff, but voice acting is a very important and ever-growing area. And we even have two courses on voice acting at voiceovermasterclass.com. Check them out if you're not familiar with them. Now, you may not be a trained actor, so you may not fancy auditioning for serious voice acting roles, but for platform or arcade games or driving games, retro, current styles, whatever, the voice shouts and the noises can be great fun to record and you can get paid well too. But they can also be a pain to record and to edit as well. So in this video, I'll take you through the whole process with every shortcut known to man to make the job a joy. Over the years, a voice for many video games, and summer 2023 sees the launch of Carters 2 on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Steam Deck as well. Now, I was asked to play one of the racing characters. This game, made by Pixel Edge Games in Poland, is pure escapism, loads of fun racing against other players around the crazy and colorful circuit where you have a variety of weapons and tactics at your disposal. Now, I was asked to play the upper-class racer Sir Ronald, so I have to shout out various short lines as I'm using a new weapon or chasing other characters and reacting to them. Now, if you've never done one of these types of games before, it can be a little bit surprising when they first send you the script, because quite often a game company will send you not a traditional script in Microsoft Word, but one in Microsoft Excel, like this. Now, this may freak you out, and you may even decline the job when they say you need to deliver individual separate files for every short line. What? How long will that take? Don't worry, I'll show you all the shortcuts. Now, I know that Excel is meant for numbers and uh, for doing accounts and things. It's also perfect for games companies because they can categorize various different types of exclamations and shouts like this, and it's easy to assign code numbers and all that kind of stuff. But it kind of makes it hard for us voiceovers because it freaks us out, as well as making it difficult to give a quote. But don't worry, don't let it upset you. I'll take you through the whole process in this video. First of all, you can't word count in Excel without going through a right palaver. But the quick and dirty way is simply to select all the cells, paste into Word, and then use Word's Word Checker. And that'll give you a quote um, from the number of words there by simply dividing by 2.5, divide by 60 to give you minutes, or check if what you're being offered uh, for, as payment is fair for the job. So that's the word count. But what about the client wanting every file saved separately? <gasps> now, this is not as onerous as you may think, not just for the technical shortcuts and hacks that I'll show you in this video, but for the fact that most game companies with arcade and platform type games, you don't need to label the shout that says, hey, I'm super powered as, hey, I'm super powered dot wav or whatever. You know, that would be so much work and a lot of typing or cutting and pasting but they don't want that anyway. Let's look at the Excel script in more detail. Before you record, just double check with the game company, but usually they just want them in a separate category. So for example, you've got using power-ups and catching power-ups, and you've got various weapons and various weapons here duplicated. So to make it absolutely clear, you need to put all these ones in that line that says, for example, bazooka, into a folder using power-ups, unique, bazooka. That's all you need to do. And once you've created that folder, all those are going to go in there and they'll be easily cut up. So, ready for recording and quick editing? Let's go to the booth and I'll show you how quick it is to record, edit and separate a name and file in the right folder exactly what the game company needs. So we'll do the first line. In other words, using power ups, common, common. That's going to be the folder that they're going in. Now, the software I'm going to use to cut up my single file into separate files, all these separate lines here, is going to be WavePad, and that's going to look for silences. So there's two ways of doing this. You can either leave two seconds gap uh, while you're actually recording it, 
clean it up afterwards, then it senses the two seconds and then cuts it into files. But I don't like doing that because you sort of lose character. I'd rather do them all at once and then put in silences easily in my audition software afterwards. So we go into audition and we say OK for a new file. Into record, back to the script. Here we go. I'm not going to leave a gap, just go right through in character. Who needs brakes when you've got missiles? You're not getting away that easily. Sorry, not sorry. Here comes the pain train. Say hello to my little friend. I've got a surprise for you. Lock and load. This one's going to leave a mark. It's time to unleash some chaos. Let's see how you handle this. Prepare for impact. No one's safe from my weapons. You're not going to like this. This one's going to blow your mind. Hope you have good insurance. Let's see if you can handle the heat. Weapons activate. Ready, aim, fire. Watch out, here comes trouble. You're not getting away that easily. So, stop recording. Chop out the rubbish at the beginning and at the end. Now I'm going to push the magic M key now that I use for things like this. They're going to need them compressed because it's all against all the nonsense and the music in the background. I'm not going to send them uncompressed files because they'll complain about it. So I'm just going to push M. Did you see what happened there? It was so fast. If you go into shortcuts, Alt plus K on Adobe Audition, you'll see M I call Master 1, right? Now, what is Master 1? I'll tell you what it is. You'll see in favorites here, Master I put under the M key to push and I use that for a lot of things that just need to be quickly normalized and then multiband compressed and then normalized again. So uh, basically, the M key does all those three things at once. And you can easily set that up by going into Favorites, Start Recording Favorite, and then just do it. Save the favorite as something, and then basically in Alt-K in Adobe Audition. I show you how to do this in detail in the Adobe Audition course that we have. You just basically find what's on there that you don't want, just delete it down here, and then just drag it over and save it, and that's it. So that's the M key. It's now compressed, and it sounds good. Level this, prepare for impact, and the levels are correct as well, okay? So I've just pushed the M key there, but that was half a second, and I've spent 30 seconds telling you about it. So all this is gonna be much faster when you actually do this. So now we need to separate these things. So we know there were no mistakes in my recording. All you have to do is to zoom in, make sure you don't clip anything, and now I know there's some uh, rubbish in between here, but I'll show you how to get rid of those in a minute. We just have to push, for me, the five button. What does the five button do? Insert silence. It's stuck on five seconds at the moment. I'm gonna change that to two, enter two, go okay, and that's two seconds of clean silence. I know about these little bits here. I'll come to those in a minute. So all of these are separate lines. We know that I can put uh, five in again and enter there. And just to show what's happening, I'll play these. Who needs brakes when you've got missiles? Two second gap here. You're not getting away that easily. Two second gap here. Sorry, not sorry. And so you just keep on putting the gaps in, which doesn't take long at all. So all those lines have been separated by two seconds of clear silence. Now there is rubbish in between there. And so for a voiceover like this, we can easily clean it up by using a software noise gate. You would never, ever use a noise gate for normal voiceover, certainly not for normal voice acting, proper acting. Uh, but for shouts like this that are highly compressed, they're all going to be mixed with all sorts of other things. A soft noise gate would be absolutely excellent. My favorite one, I push C and up it comes. It's the rear gate standalone. It's completely free to download. You're very welcome to copy my settings if you want, but it may be different for your levels and for your voice. Basically, it doesn't just hack it off at the beginning and bring it back up at the end. It, uh, it softly goes in and you can change here very, very, very precisely to make a nice noise gate. So if you want to look at some of the rubbish, let's see if I just close that for now. Uh, I'll just zoom in here to show you. So now if I highlight the whole file, now watch these bits of rubbish here, these little bits of breath. I'm going to push C again, move that to one side, and click Apply. They're gone, you see, and now it's very clean in and out. It's time to unleash some chaos! And it comes. Let's see how you handle this. Cleanly again there, you see. So it's got rid of the breath, which not uh, no one's going to hear the breath, but I just worry that the software that's going to sense the silences 
is going to think that's a bit of audio. Uh, and you can set the levels for that anyway, but it just cleans it up. So we've got a nice clean file now, and we've called it using PowerUp's Common Common. We now open WavePad, which we have a course about as well. He says get a cheap plugin. So we open up the file in WavePad, exactly the same as we had in Audition, but Audition and its wonderful software, but doesn't have the feature that we need here, which is to split. So we go to split up here, and we want to choose split at silences. So here we are going to split at silences. We have got the level threshold at minus 48 decibels. Anything less than that, it will consider as silence. Silence duration is on two seconds or 2000 milliseconds, and it's going to save to the folder games, Carters 2, and then using power ups, common, common. All right. Output name is going to be the same there, and that's what they want. Output format is WAV. Some of them may want MP3, but you can just choose it in there. And you simply click split, and look what happens. The magic happens. Wowza. Look at that. They're all separate files. And just to prove it, they're all in the same folder. So you just collect all these folders together and send them a whole bunch of folders. All these are in there. They're perfectly happy with them. They don't want to know what they're called. They're on their script if they want to check. And just to prove that these work, just double click it. It'll open an audition and it plays. And it says, let's see if you can handle the heat. Yes, I can. Thanks to Pete Baker and VoiceOver Masterclass. Sorry, another cheap advert just put in. Look, I hope you found all this useful, not just for this type of game. And thanks, by the way, to Pixel Edge Games for letting me show beta footage of the Carters 2 game. It's going to be even better than that. We have two full courses on voice acting and loads more information at voiceovermasterclass.com. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and all the best for the future.